Hey guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. This is Molly with Robert and Molly Bees, and today I'm going to redo this secretary's desk. It had a hole in the back, so I put some tape on the inside and mixed up some Bondo and filled in the hole. And then I went ahead and sanded it flat. Uh, I ended up painting the back of this black. I don't think I showed that later in the video. But you couldn't even tell. It worked out really well. I'm a big fan of using Bondo for furniture repairs. It works really well. It ends up being really strong. So Next, I decided to mix up some amazing casting resin because I was going to add a little keyhole cover to this secretary's desk. It's a one-to-one -one ratio for the two-part component and you get like 30 seconds to mix it up and then you pour it in and it dries in 10 minutes. There is other resin that is 24-hour resin. There's, there's all different types, but this particular kind is a 10-minute. I knew I wanted to use this on a certain keyhole, but I went ahead and had my other ones ready to go in case I had extra resin, and I did, so I used those molds as well. This particular type of resin turns white when it's finished uh, and ready to pull from the mold, So, and it's a little flexible when you first take it out, you can see there. I used Type Bond Quick and Thick on this embellishment I got from Amazon and secured it doubly with some brad nailers. Or Next I decided to use this decoupage paper from Grace on Design, it's called Study Time. I actually decided to buy this desk because I had this paper, sometimes that's how that happens for me. I thought, this needs to be on a secretary's desk, so I found one on Amazon Marketplace and got it. I would not recommend going from left to right. Uh, what I would have done if I did this again is cut these pieces for each drawer. It got a little wrinkly, but it still worked really well with the look. I used Dixie Bell paint on this secretary's desk. I'm using muscadine wine and some brown color. Pine cone, that's what I used. And then the yellow at the bottom is rebel yellow. So I really don't have any idea what made me decide to paint this the way I ended up painting it, but I really, really liked how it turned out. Sometimes you get an idea and it just kind of comes to you and, and you, that's what you do. So it got a little drippy at the bottom. I liked that. This piece had claw feet. I thought that was really cool too. I used a lace stenciling with some purple because there was just a little purple in that decoupage paper, so I went with that color. And this is how it turned out. If you like what you see, uh, please like, subscribe, share, and uh, thanks so much for watching. Bye!